What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy John Benz and Jay Benz Light. Back again with another one, bro. It's been it's been a minute. It's been a minute since I've been on YouTube, man. It's been like a month and some change. But you know, it'd be like that, man. I had to get my mind right, I had to get my life together, I had to I was going through it for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Had to had to freaking get everything good. Had to get everything good energetically, mentally, all that. You feel me? But I'm back. I'm back, baby. You feel me? I had to get my knowledge up as well. So, what I'm coming with y'all today is five reasons why you should never meditate. All right? Five reasons why you should never meditate. Number one, we're going to start it off. Number one, you'll face your demons. Because you see, when you meditate, when you meditate, you're going to face your demons, bro. When you meditate, you're going to be, it's you and yourself. That's it. When you meditate, you close your eyes, preferably in a, in a quiet room, in a quiet area, whatever. You're going to close your eyes. And you're just, it's just going to be you and your subconscious, you and your unconscious mind. It's just you and everything that's in inside of you. It's just you and basically think about it as... You being locked in a dark room with all the demons, everything you've been running from, everything you run from every day, every 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 bad decision you ever made, every good decision you ever made, every regret, every anything. As is think about it as you locked in a dark room with just all those thoughts in your head right there. You feel me? And some people can't handle that. Like honestly, some some of y'all can't handle that. Some of y'all can't handle facing your demons. You feel me? Just off the off rip like that. Just because some of y'all just uh, so used to y'all some of y'all professional distract distractors. Professionals that distracting yourselves. Some of y'all have a passion for distracting yourselves. Some of y'all just y'all med y'all medicate, y'all smoke weed every every y'all smoke weed five times a day. Y'all freaking watch YouTube videos all day, y'all Y'all beat y'all freaking beat y'all meat. Y'all beat y'all meat. Y'all y'all freaking mess with all these thought demons that y'all shouldn't be messing with. Y'all do all these different things. Y'all get drunk. Y'all get drunk every day. Y'all party every weekend. Y'all do all these different things to distract yourselves from all the demons that are in your head. You feel me? All the demons that are in your head that you created. You know what I'm saying? And when you meditate, you're gonna be facing those demons. You're gonna be facing all that. And some of y'all just not ready for that, man. And that's fuck that's perfectly okay. That's perfectly okay if you're not ready. But just know that you not being ready, those demons still not still gonna be there, bro. They ain't going nowhere. They ain't gonna go nowhere until you get them out. It's all up to you. You have the power at the end of the day. Alright, number two of why you should never meditate. You're gonna question who and what you are. This is a big one right here. Cause when you meditating, bro, you're gonna you're gonna realize when you meditating, you're gonna you gonna realize who you truly are, man. You gonna realize what like. You gonna realize that you're a spirit in the body. You are gonna realize that you're not your habits. You are gonna realize that you're not your feelings. You're not your emotions. You're not what people. You're not what the next guy told you. You're not what your mom told you. You're not what your dad told you. You're not none of that. My name is John. You gonna realize that if your name's John, just like me, you gonna realize that you're not John. That's a big one. You're going to realize that you're not John. Understand me when I say this. You're going to realize you are not John. That is not who you are. That is simply just a name that was given to you. Well, my full name is Jonathan. But whatever. Anyways, that's just a full name that was that was given to you when you were born. It's a label, a concept that was given to you when you were born, when you came into this world. It's not who you are. Think about Think about what life would be like if you never got a name, if you never went to school, if you never, if you think about what life would be like if you grew up in the jungle and you never grew up in society. Yeah, bro. Some people ain't ready for that shit. But all right, number three. Number three. You don't question reality. So, this is also a big one. They're all big ones, but... Yeah, you're going to question your reality, bro. You're going to question what this world is. You're going to question everything. You're going to start to question everything, especially if you've been meditating for a long time and you've gotten to the, you've gotten to the point where, where you've meditated so much that you get to a point where it's like you start to get into deep levels of meditation, deep levels of meditation where you're, 
you're you're questioning your very being. You're quite you're you're able to tap in to tap into things that you've never tapped into before. Deep level of meditation where I personally experience where you start to literally see subconscious projections like pictures in your mind like in your in your mind as if it was really there. Like you you deep levels of meditation where you'll you'll start to just question like damn like like how like how is it like what is the internet bruh like you can like you can really you can get down to the the very nitty gritty of it do all your tech research do all that electricity whatever all, all this all this different research do all that but really think about it like bruh what exactly is all of this what am i bruh you can do your bio like bruh biology says oh we're cells cells become cells become tissues tissues become whatever whatever all that all this different stuff but when you really get down to the nitty gritty of it, it all comes from a source. Everything comes from a source. When you reverse engineer everything more and more and more, everything comes from a source. And you gotta fuck what your religion told you. Fuck what your mom told you. Fuck what your dad told you. Fuck what your priest down the block told you. Fuck what anybody told you. Really, you're going to start to question, like, what really is all of this? What really is life? What really is the essence of what gives me the ability to think and perceive? What gives me the ability to control this body, to be able to do anything with this body? What gives me the ability to be here in general, speaking to a camera? What gives me the ability to do all these different things? What gives me the ability to... to to look at life, to look at life in a certain in a certain way, and my with my specific perception, what gives me the ability to walk, to do all these to all to do all these things? What gives me what what is it about my body? How is it that my body is able to keep itself alive and heal itself? But I'm I'm not the one that's controlling that. I'm not the one controlling my heartbeat. I'm not the one that's controlling the blood as it flows through my veins. What is the what is the very essence of all of that behind fuck behind the atom? What is the essence of the atom? What is the essence of that? And what's the essence of that? Think about it, bro. You when you start meditating, you get into those deep levels. That's what you're gonna be thinking about, bro. I'm telling you, you are gonna start to question your reality. That's only if you get into the deep levels. You know what I'm saying? But maybe not even maybe even before you get into the deep levels, man. You maybe you already question your reality now. You feel know I me? Mean? Before I was meditating, that's what I was doing. I was questioning my reality. I've always been like that. But that's a video for another day. All right, number four. You're not going to have no more anxiety and depression. Now, you may be listening just like, damn, like, that's that don't sound bad. Well, a lot of people out here, a lot of people out here like to identify themselves by the certain things in which they do. Like to identify themselves by... The way in which they are. For example, some people identify themselves as having anxiety. Some people identify themselves as having depression. Some people identify themselves by the job in which they have, the 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 amount of degrees that they have. Some people' identity is attached to the religion that they have that they hold. Some people' identity is, atta is attached to to all these different third dimensional thought, third dimensional concepts. You feel me? And the thing is. When you start meditating, you're not going to have no more anxiety and depression, bro. So if you're a person that's identifying, that identifies yourself, part of your identity is having anxiety, part of your identity is having depression, bro, like, that's just going to be gone. And then what, and then who, and then who, the, who are you, bro? Who are you then? Who are you then? You just started doing something new and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, what you thought you were, who you thought you were just completely changed. So what are you then, bruh? <laughs> and number five, last but not least, man, it's the most important one, in my opinion. You're going to become more conscious. And what I mean by this is you're going to become more aware of not only, not only the habits in which you have and the certain quirks and tweaks and things of that nature, the certain unconscious habits, subconscious habits that you have as a person, but you're also going to become more conscious, more aware of 
the things that other people do. You feel me? Like, for example, uh, I just heard a story today. Somebody I know said that they were at the post office and some guy and uh, they were crossing the street and they had like a they they had like a big they had a bunch of packages that they had to, you know, drop off at the post the post office. So they had like a little, you know, that little wheelie bag. I don't know what you call a shopping like not a shopping cart, but like you know what I'm saying. Had that thing and they they pushing it right, and they pushing it across the street and they going kind of slow, and somebody in the car that was waiting on them to go to pass by rolled the window down and was like, hurry the fuck, hurry the f up, you f and F and B, you know, you know what I'm saying, and you gotta understand in situations like that, when when a when a person is just going off on you for no apparent reason or going off on you for just going off on you in general, most of the time, unless unless you've done something to disrespect the person or done something done something to a person specifically, like to or whatever, most of the time, bro, when you see somebody coming at you coming at you it's it's coming from within them not most of the time all the time it's coming from within them it's pain and anger coming from within them that is manifest and they're projecting it onto you like in that example that person was that person was feel, feeling obviously feeling some type of anger or insecurity within themselves that a grown it was a grown man a grown man saying to a young woman to hurry up you f and b it's some type of anger insecurity or something within himself that 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 uh he found an opportunity to project it upon he found an opportunity in his outside reality that that triggered triggered that that anger and insecurity within himself and he used that opportunity in reality to project to project that man to project that anger and insecurity from within himself outwards you feel me and you and his mind, his mind, you pro use the excuse of, oh, this person is taking too long and I got I probably got places to be. I got this, this and this. I got this, this and that to do. But that's just an excuse that the mind creates That's an excuse that the mind creates to justify as to why you would project the anger, or insecurity or whatever that you feel within yourself. You feel me? You feel me? Come on, man. I'm coming at, I'm coming at y'all with some heat. What you talking about, man? What are you talking about, man? <laughs> but nah. But nah, man. That's five. That's five reasons right there as to why you should never meditate, man. And let me just end the video off on a good note. End the video off like this. Life is crazy, man. Life's crazy sometimes, man. The things, the things that that happen in this reality is is wild. It could, it gets wild sometimes. You feel me? And meditation, meditation is one of the things, one of the gifts that we have as being humans, being these 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 conscious beings with the highest consciousness on the planet. As at least that's what that's what uh that's what uh. We believe as these conscious beings with the highest consciousness on this planet. That's one of the abilities that we have. We have the ability to sit down and literally observe our thoughts. We have the ability to sit down and and be able to be able to observe the habits that we have, observe why we think a certain way, observe the way that we think, observe the way that the way that we respond to other people, observe what triggers us and things of that nature. You feel me? But that's all I got for y'all today, man. I got more content coming soon. Yo, I'm I gonna start streaming on Twitch. I love gaming. You feel me? Been gaming since I was a little kid. You feel me? You gotta keep that child, keep that child alive inside of you, man. That's very important. Very important. But yeah, man. John Benzam signing out. Jay Benz the light, baby. Be better than yesterday.